Are you ready to discover who you came here to be? Welcome to the Human Design and Astro Club podcast. Human Design is a system and a tool that is here to empower you and show you your greatest potential. Come learn with us and discover who you really are. Hey friends, Crystal here. Before we start the show, I wanted to let you know about the extra tools that the Human Design and Astro Club has for you. That's here to empower you to live the life you have always dreamed of. Now we have a free guide on tips and tricks to honoring your strategy and authority. We also have a language manual to your true self that's here to help you understand the key terms and more in human design. And we just came out with our brand new monthly forecast, the program plus, which is a detailed overview of the entire month through the lens of human design, astrology, and tarot that comes with a monthly calendar and also a guidebook. Now, if you have children or if you want to nurture the little you, we also have a children's class called Nurture Your Child Through Their Design. And our most popular classes are our variable mini classes. They are bite-sized, detailed, self-paced classes on the first two variables of the Radical Four Transformations. And we're always sharing new educational resources, exclusive classes, and more over on our website, humandesignastro.com. Find all of these classes, guides, and our website and more in the description down below. Now let's head on over to the show. Welcome to the Human Design and Astro Club podcast. I'm Crystal. And I'm Leah. And this is the podcast you've been waiting for. I don't, I never know what, what, what I'm doing. I feel like though I do a lot of just the same moves. If everyone's watching every week, it's probably the same thing. You're like, what are you talking about? We have a YouTube channel that we never share ever. We just recently started sharing with you guys that we record these also for YouTube. And there's also a brand new, I guess, series called, I always forget. And I just remembered again, human design diaries. This is deconditioning, which there is a new episode coming up at the end of this month. So definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. And hey, YouTubers, you watching us right now? Give us a big thumbs up if you if you like us, if you like the if you like what we're providing, if you like the value that we are sharing with you on the other side of the screen. Um and and yeah, we're back. We're, we're back, back, bitches. We're back. Okay. <laughs> And my bitches, it is a, a term of endearment for me when I call you guys bitches. <laughs> I love you. It's like you're you're my peeps, okay? And and yeah, we we took a week off, which was kind of hard to do as a generator. Yeah. I like didn't know what to fully do with myself. Last it was very Thursday. needed. It was very needed, though. It was very needed. No, I definitely like allowed myself. A little bit more rest last week even though I feel Mm -hmm. like I've also been doing a whole lot at the same time but I allowed Mm -hmm. for break periods which I have a really hard time doing yeah (laughs) it's tough but it's also important to do it sometimes yeah we we didn't do it for over a year (laughs) every every week we were showing up sometimes twice a week there was one time, I swear it was three times. I have no idea which I'm week that was. pretty sure that happened, yeah, a couple times, but not a lot, but enough. I mean, that was just because we had a lot going on. We had a lot we wanted to share. Yeah. As a generator, I'm here to produce. Like, I, I, I'm like just a well-oiled machine <laughs> when it comes to this stuff. People are like, how do you have all these ideas? 
because I love it so much that like I can be sitting and staring at like a blade of grass and all of a sudden I'll be inspired by this blade of grass to create a class. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It doesn't take me a lot. And this is like, this is something that I really want to help other people with is that we all come with these natural gifts that are really here to be shared with the world that we don't honor or nurture. Um, And so I've always been this fucking weirdo. And again, this podcast is for a bunch of weirdos. Okay. So if you're a weirdo, you're, you know, the black sheep in the family, you're a magician, a witch, an alchemist, a fairy, a goblin, a troll. I don't care what you subscribe <laughs> to. <laughs> all of all of the above. Um, this podcast is for you because we are two weirdos that found each other on the internet. You know, the very up to date love story of this time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a true internet love story <laughs> yeah one fond day the projector saw the generator <laughs> stalked her for a long time he did i enjoyed, I, I somehow i got my your phone number out of you yeah that was weird when and you asked the rest of history number, i was like <laughs> i think i don't even remember doing that yeah, I think it was when you had your other podcast and you're like trying to I think you were trying to coordinate or you wanted I think you wanted uh, to I think you wanted to ch- realistically opportunist comes in here as like a cover. She wanted to talk more about human design. She's like, "How do I yeah, get this yeah, person that can't seem to stop talking about it on the internet to talk <laughs> to me about it?" And I did. I, I think at that point no, I had done one that one reading for you and then well, I think when we started talking more frequently you were like okay we want to do the other other ones yeah so i think that is that episode on here on our yeah we did put that episode i don't know what number that is number it is either pretty far down there's an episode about uh when uh that when leah had her other podcast Mm -hmm. and i came on that was a fun episode there's a lot of uh stuff that has shifted (laughs) since (laughs) since that time very different um but yeah it was fun it was fun that was that was the very before the beginning Mm -hmm. there's so much to look back on I feel like you know I've been doing journey through HD or journey through human design whichever one you want to refer to it as it's the same thing to me um for like two and a half years and like then we've been doing this for just over a year, but we did have Clubhouse for a while, which I want to bring back an aspect to Clubhouse. I was actually just talking to somebody from Clubhouse earlier today that still um, listens to us on the on the podcast and, you know, has done. I know they picked up the program plus and picked up some other stuff before. So and I was just like, I really want to bring back that that community aspect from clubhouse Mm -hmm. i'm i'm missing it our door the doorway membership is about to close we had if you guys didn't know we did we've had a membership for people for the last year started about a year ago Uh, we had a support group membership and then also the doorway which was our variables um that all of our pre-recorded variable classes people were allowed to listen to them whenever they wanted and then we had um, community calls on them and other other parts related to human design we had community calls on and it's been a really fun way of just like getting to know how people s- see themselves and kind of helping them find their way which mm. through the doorway helping them find their way and there was a lot of beautiful aspects about it to all the people that came and participated and finished um because most of you guys have left at this point um like your membership ended I just want to be clear it sounded like maybe they left and I would I want to be clear their membership ended (laughs) I was like let me (laughs) rephrase that um and and then we have a, a few people left 
that will be ending by by next month. And we did have some really, I don't even know what the right words are because I want to be semi-discreet about it because I'm not trying to uh, bash people. But, you know, not everybody is honest on the internet. I think that's something that we all know. Um, and I, I, I have a little bit of innocence to that. I always want to believe people are going to make good choices. Mm -hmm. And we did have some people enter the doorway that I think we're just trying to get all of the information for as cheap as possible and ended up canceling their card um, when the membership wasn't completed. And so that left a really sour taste, I think, in both of our mouths and with our defined hearts and that we placed a value on this uh, membership and we mm -hmm. were kind enough to break them up into monthly payments uh, and people didn't honor the value. And so because of that, um, we will no longer do any sort of memberships. <laughs> I know some people asked about if we could do a membership for the program plus and I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how cheap it is. $12. Like you, you would be surprised at how many people say, oh yeah, I'll sign up for six months of that. And then all of a sudden they don't have $12. So, you know, we live and we learn. Yeah. It's just easier for everybody if it's if you just get to purchase whenever you want and that's it. Like there's but no... yeah, we're, we are doing something. We're we're doing uh, yes. something new. That's but actually we have learned we learned a huge amount of things over this past year, which is what's leading us to this point. Yeah. So we started off on Clubhouse. That was where Leah and I originally connected with this information where I had in, I had invited her to come on Clubhouse. And speaking of having some other poor relationships that we won't get into with that, <laughs> um, <laughs> our OGs know what we're talking about when we say that, uh, but we won't get into it. So anyways, we started Clubhouse together and we created this very large community very quickly. And um, we were able to really see the impact, especially as defined hearts. I, I feel like it's important for us to see the impact we're making in real time and seeing how much this information, especially with the channel of surrender, how much is this landing for the community? Because the keynote for the channel of surrender is support. So it says, this is, this is a, this a talk about reciprocity. This is a channel of reciprocity that says, I have value to give you right now. How about I make this exchange with you for this value and then we both benefit. Then we get to upgrade and support the tribe. And so I feel like that element has been kind of scattered and missing. It's like if you didn't meet us in the doorway because we closed that actually relatively quickly. We had a lot of people join us at the beginning and I was like, I can't hold space for any more people. So we had closed the doorway. And so there was no real other way other than the podcast, which you you either have to write into us, which some of you do. Thank you so much. We, I, we had some really beautiful write-ins. Uh, the last couple weeks and really so one of them in particular brought me to tears. Um, so thank you for writing us writing to us in because it really helps us know the impact you're making. And so, but it is hard to communicate with two people that have a podcast. I mean, you can also comment on YouTube, but it's not the same. It's not the same in, with having a real time or a safe space. That's another mm -hmm. thing that I, I've always wanted to create that we kind of had more so mm -hmm. on Clubhouse was creating the safe space for people to be able to come and share what's going on, to, going on with them like that day, that week, that month. And especially when you can connect it to the transits, it kind of gives a bigger picture. So this is something that I saw that was missing with the program plus was that there was no community element of we ha I've had some people write into me oh my god this month of the program plus all the things that you said 
were happen were going to happen they happened to me in this way and this way and this way and it's something that it's like we can all see within ourselves and kind of relate to and yeah. so i suggested to leo wouldn't it be nice if we created some sort of private group similar to like how we had support calls with the membership but this is going to be strictly in like clubhouse like like almost like kind of creating all the things that we've done in the last like year and a half from when we started clubhouse to now and here comes my kitchens and is like let's combine everything let's mm-hmm. for for a a really awesome price a really affordable price because i'm not here to gatekeep this information i mean we show up week after week with free information on the transits every week right but it's really just the foundation i want to take people deeper and that's why we created the program plus so we can talk more uh fluently through the human design astrology and tarot language with you guys in the program plus go a little bit deeper um talk about the gates talk about the channels talk about the transmissions talk about how they're impacting your life in a particular way um that will that will either you know give you a chance of an opportunity or an oppor- or even a rest period which is also an opportunity and so i suggested what if we took the program plus and we had people that said they wanted to do memberships but we didn't want to do that what if we did and created a private group, a safe space for people of all weirdos to come and gather like s- such kitchens and markets together, combining ourselves into this group where we we show up every month, either recorded, depending on what because some months we're not going to be able to do it. So that's why we want to be c- upfront and o- honest with you guys, either recorded or sometimes we want to go live with the program plus and in this private group where you're going to get the program plus you're going to get the guidebook uh you'll be able to download your uh the the guidebook and use it be able to still print it out that's not going to get taken away from you or anything like that i want to make sure everything's still going to be the same but better that's my goal the same but better and so you'll have a chance to then share your discoveries your findings for that month on what the connections were with, were with you with the program plus and your transit chart. You can even post your transit charts. We can all talk about them in there. Like this is a safe space for you to share, gain knowledge and wisdom and um, be able to connect to a community. And we're also going to be doing weekly tarot polls connected to the gate. You'll also get a gate connected for the entire month for tarot. We're also taking our, um, aura energy updates that if you didn't know, we've been doing free aura energy updates every week in our uh, weekly email. And we also do memes in relation to that. So the memes will re- will remain and probably get actually a little bit better um, in the weekly email. That's not going to get taken. The memes will still, still remain. You'll still get weekly memes on each aura. Um, but we're going to take the energy updates and we're going to expand them and we're going to put them in the private, um, group, which is going to be a Facebook group to make it super easy. Cause we want to be able to go live sometimes and we don't have a platform where we can do that right now. And also to be honest, Facebook's got their organization down with their groups. Yeah, they do. And they yeah. just do. They just do. And so I actually do don't post anything on Facebook, Mm -hmm. but I have a bunch of groups that I'm in and I do talk in there from time to time, but I, that, that's all I use Facebook now for is for Facebook groups yeah, or for when people start programs or like little mini like workshops or whatever. A lot of people do those in Facebook because it's just so well organized. You can, um, it's easy to go live in them. It's easy to post. It's easy for people to download things in them. And so we were like, we're going to just do it through Facebook right now until if we find a better space for it, we'll, we'll do that. But as of right now, we're going to do it in Facebook. Everybody has access to Facebook. And if you're like, I don't use Facebook, that's fine. You can download it just for this. There's people that I, like I said, I'm in Facebook groups that I don't use Facebook for anything else, but these groups. So (laughs) you can download Facebook just to use for this. It's free. That's there. You don't have, you don't need anything for that. It's only going to, and it's going to be 2323 for the entire month where you get 
program plus, which includes everything that we've been talking about for the program plus. I'm not going to go through that now. You can definitely check out the program plus on our website if you would like in the description down below and see what what that entails if you don't know. Because I know that, you know, some people don't like to hear us talk about what we're creating and I don't want to take up too much time, but I do want to sell. I'm here to sell to you. We are here to sell to you. We have the channel of the entrepreneur. (laughs) God damn it. We we're going to sell to you, but it's going to upgrade you. We're trying to bring people together right now. That's been our main mission of this entire process that we've been together is about bringing people into community, a safe space to share, a safe space to learn and a safe space to just be yourself. That's what this new private human design and astral club group is going to be is a safe space for you to be yourself, which is pretty much the theme of this week. So what a beautiful time to announce this. And so we're giving you a special that if you um, get on the wait list, it's going to be in the description down below. Hold on. Can you finish what's in the group? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just like, we're done. I'll bring you back Um, around to it. (laughs) We're done. Um, (laughs) So sorry, circling back to the group. So you get (laughs) You get the monthly program plus forecast for the entire month guidebook, and then you're going to get the weekly aura energy updates a little bit more elaborate and an opportunity to share. How did that how did that land for you? Um, And then other people that let's say that are generators that have that you guys can start a conversation in the generator post. The projectors can start a conversation in the projector post. I want this to be a space where people are actually meeting each other and connecting and building relationships. I have gate 59. I really love when people bond with each other. I'm also a third line. And so I also would like to do, and I'm just going to announce this here. I know Leah is going to be like, I'm totally fine (laughs) with it. And you can tell me, we can cut this out if you're not. Um, (laughs) I would like to do once a month because I know a lot of entrepreneurs follow us. So I would like entrepreneurs that are in this private Facebook group to be able to announce once a month what they have going on. Like if they want to share sure. an offer that they're launching for that month, that month or something that they have that they're super excited about that they want um, other people to join them with. Yeah. I would love to have a space where people can connect in that way too and be able to find each other. So if you're a fellow entrepreneur like us um, and, you know, also a little weirdo, I, we'd love for you to join our group so that you can meet other little weirdos like you. I have met been I've been joining a bunch of different like workshops. And as I told you, I'm in the, um, the Venus retreat and I've been meeting a bunch of cool people. I'm doing another class next week that is going to be on defined hearts. So I'm excited to meet some new defined hearts and yeah, I just, I want to create a space where people are learning and connecting and being able to be themselves. And that's what this private Facebook group is going to be. And it's only going to be 23, 23 for the entire month to get all of that for one month. And, and hold on, there's one more thing for the month of January. And also if you purchase afterwards, but I think you'll want it to know about it at the beginning of the month. For the month of January, you're also you're not only going to get the program plus, plus, which is the monthly forecast, you're also going to get the yearly forecast. So last year, we put out a really awesome for the first time, because obviously that was the first time we were together. We put out a yearly forecast, which a bunch of people picked up and every single person DM'd me after that, that bought mm-hmm. that class was like, wow. Mm-hmm. So we're going to do it again, probably better because every, you know as a generator and also working with a projector, we just get more efficient and better. So it's probably going to be, be even better than last year. So if you picked up last year's, you'll want to pick up this year's. So you're not only going to get for only $23, the monthly forecast with all the benefits of the Facebook group that we just discussed, you're also going to get the yearly forecast for just $23. I would purchase at least one month just to get all of those benefits. But if you are like, you know what, I do want to stay in this group for a while. It sounds like there's some really good stuff in in here. You could do um, by four, four, four of the Facebook groups. We're going to call it something else, but we're just going to say that for right now. Four of the private groups and you'll get one month for free. So you'll get five months 
Um, you just have to, but there, you cannot split them up. It's a one-time fee of ninety-two, ninety-two, which is cheaper than one reading from me. So for, for a whole five months and you'll get one month for free. So you get a little bit of a, you know, a bonus for signing up for four, four straight months if you choose. And then if you get on our wait list and purchase from our wait list, you'll be put into a drawing to win one free reading for tarot and human design together, which everybody always loves our human design tarot readings. They're, really fun. It, it, they're always, we used to do uh speed ones yeah. on clubhouse. We would have a bunch of people that would sign up and pay for these, like, I think like 11 minute readings. They were like super speed readings and people loved them. Um, yeah. I do miss, miss doing that sometimes. Cause that was, that was fun. And meeting, just meeting, we just met so many people. Yeah. That that's really period fun. Of time. So we kind of want to bring a lot of that back. Um, I know some of you are craving it. I can smell you. I've talked to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is something you're not going to be able to get from like anybody else. If you've been listening to us and you're like, these these chicks are pretty cool. I do. I would like to hang out with them sometimes, or I'd like to be able to talk to them um, on a more personal level. Meet us in the group. It's only 23 bucks, man. 23 yeah. bucks a month, whether you do the package or you do a la carte, 23 bucks. Yeah. So for now, we have a wait list open, which will be in the description down below, which Crystal, you mentioned. And um, it's just a, you click on the link and it brings you to a Google form. You just put your name and email address in there. Um, and to get the, in the reading, like you said, for the free, uh, get in the drawing for the free reading, you have to purchase and you have to have been on the wait list. So if you're not on the wait list and you purchase, you're not in the, in the running for, um, the drawing, but the, to be on the wait list is just an email address. That's all it is. So, yeah, it's pretty simple. So, and thank you for the people that have already joined because this is the first time we're actually making the announcement, but we have already, to, if you're on our email list, you you might have already seen it. Yeah. Um. So, so yeah, jump on the wait list. This is going to be yeah. such an awesome group. I'm really excited to open this up to people. Um. We all kind of need community right now. I think, yeah. you know, 20, 20, 2023 is going to be, mm. it's going to pick up. Like yeah, we're going to need said, support <laughs> yes. if we don't already feel it right now. Yes. Yeah. We are definitely going to need it because 2022 is a little bit more of a rest period. If you could believe it. I mean, <laughs> if you think about it. <laughs> resting, like we're hiding under the covers resting or like. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's almost, it was like a rest period and like a little bit of a reprieve where we can kind of get back out there. Mm. Um, but lo- still, still cautious. Still, there was still a bunch of ups and downs this year, but not as intense as it's going to start picking up 2023, 2025, as we continue to approach 2027 from, from this moment on until 2027, things are going to start pick it up. And I want to be here to support you guys because I do see I know that it's crazy, but obviously if you've been listening to this podcast for a while, you can see that I'm really good at spotting patterns. And when Leah is able to then also connect things to a card, it gives kind of a deeper underlying message of what's really setting the tone, which makes sense because Leah's, uh, you know, low sound and, Mm -hmm. um, she she's able to kind of like pick up the undertones as well as, you know, right brain. I feel like right brain people, you really see the, you really are taking in, not see, sorry, you would be right mind if I was saying you're seeing, you're taking in the peripheral of yeah. things. Like you're taking in like almost like the essence and the feeling and the sensations that are happening on the outer layer when I'm like taking in the nucleus. Like I can only see what's directly in front of me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that's why we work well together because we can kind of, see the whole picture together yep. separately. It's like, you know, we're only getting bits and pieces and we do want to do a like business episode. So yeah. if you guys are interested in that, you can write us in and say, Oh, I'm definitely interested in that. And we'll put that on the list 
closer to the top. We're also going to be doing a Q&A for people that did submit questions um, a few times that we put out a form. We've been collecting them. So we are going to be doing a Q&A in January as well. Um, I think it'll be January. If it's not, we'll let you know. But as of right now, it's looking like it's probably going to be in January. Um, and yeah, this is I'm just really excited for all of these new things that are coming up. I've been I, I'm happy to say I'm completely booked for the January already for my readings awesome. that I never announce on here. I don't tell people <laughs> I have readings. I just I don't know. I always end up finding them. But this is the first time that I've been booked this quickly in yeah. a long time. I don't want to say ever, but in a, in a while. Yeah. I've been so focused on a lot of the stuff that we've been doing that I don't really advertise my readings as much and people just happen to come in at the right time when they come in and I end up, you know, just getting people throughout the month, but I've never gotten so many people like back mm -hmm. to back to back to back, but I have really been like tapped in. Like, I think people probably can see that right now. I'm like, I am, I am in the zone. We have what... I think it was almost like to the day or it was mine even have, I think it might've been the day before the nodes changed into my nodes um, with the gates, with the 24 and the 44, like things just started opening up for me. I've been doing speaking events. I have a, I don't want to talk too much about this stuff because not a lot has fully transpired yet, but there's another opportunity that's coming for me. We just had our grid workshop that thank you for everyone that came to mm -hmm. Nina and my, our grid workshop, because that was like such a really, really, I don't know. I don't even know what the right words are. It was like this, the setting the stage of of more things that are going to come similar to that, that have already been starting to present themselves in that way as well. And so, yeah, I'm just, I feel like I'm really tapped in. I have my body graph grid and my crystal grid behind me that I've been shifting through the moon cycles very consistently for poly, the, the crystal grid for probably the last like six to eight months. I can't remember the exact time. And then the body graph grid for the last few months. Um, and I don't know, magic has just been happening. I know you're mm -hmm. getting a grid. Yeah. Eventually. Yeah. I know you're sad a couple. <laughs> yeah. it's She's working on it. It's, yeah. it's tough. I mean, that's a difficult, um, that's a craft, thing to man. It's, that's a craft. It is very much a craft. I couldn't do it. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm being patient. I don't feel like there's any rush at all. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, and then that's with the undefined route, you, like you, you can't, and you also can't rush a defined route. No. Yeah. I never would. I just, I'm just patiently <laughs> excited you'll, for it to come. <laughs> you'll get it. It's going to yeah. change your life. Um, yeah. I was so excited. It's what I love when I do live classes. Cause we did a live crystal grid class. If nobody knows what we're talking about, I, or I did, excuse me, with somebody that lives near me that, um, she creates and you have to go check her out. Her name, um, you can check her on a pure ritual on Instagram is probably the easiest way to find her pure ritual. Um, she creates these metaphysical tools, um, crystal grids. I got her to create me a body graph grid that I'm now able to activate that. That was the coolest thing that I've seen her create mm -hmm. uh, other than like, she creates these huge, beautiful mushrooms and she's even made them, some of them into lamps. Yeah. Which I said to her, you know, it's so funny. I'm like, here comes the second line. I was like, you bitches. Okay. <laughs> I said to her <laughs> when I was at, we did the grid workshop at her studio. So I, I, you know, I was looking at all her stuff and I said to her, I had never asked her this before. I was like, how did you learn how to make, or how did you, did you take a class on how to make a lamp? I was like, how did you know how to make a lamp? And she goes, oh, I just figured it out. I was like, fuck you. You know? <laughs> That's so funny. But like in a in a loving way, fuck yeah. you. Like yeah. you 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 bitches, you second lines, man. I don't like you're like, I just you know, I'm, I don't I had no idea how to make it's a link. Funny you I say just that. plugged it in and it yeah. just I just made I well I didn't just I think about three three or four years ago I made bedside lamps for my husband out of Jack Daniels bottles. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. I should take a picture and show you sometime. Yeah. I was like, oh, what should I do with it? Cause he used to like he used to have Jack Daniels was like his go-to. And now he's like, he feels more sophisticated with his his bourbon choices or whiskey choices and um 
So we don't have it that often anyway, now that we're old and in bed at eight Mm o'clock. But so he had a bunch of them saved up from a long time ago. And we're like, what are we going to do with all these Jack Daniels bottles? And I was like, hmm, what should I do? And then I created these lamps that are like the Jack Daniels bottle. And then it has like a, you know, it's a lamp on top. And I figured out how to make them. So it just happens. (laughs) You bitches. But anyways, enough about all the stuff we've been doing and all that stuff. Thanks for listening. I do want to, before we jump in though, I do, because this is a week of the holidays. I just kind of wanted to ask you, mm-hmm. what are you doing for the holidays? Um, Well, for, because we celebrate Christmas, we're doing Christmas Eve at my sister's house with my mom's side of the family. And then we're going to have Christmas Day at home with my husband's parents. So mm-hmm. nothing too extensive. He's on vacation. So we're just going to kind of chill, take our, take our moment yeah. to be ch- quietish. <laughs> are you, you guys are never quiet. I every say that. Yeah. Every weekend. I always like, I have about 30 things I have going on and I'm going here crazy. and then I'm going there. And then my kids have 20 soccer tournaments at this weekend. It's always. And- <laughs> And oh, I signed him up for another soccer thing. I was like, I don't, didn't you say that thing was over? Yeah, but you know, we're doing it you know, again. If I had control over all the ev- events that we could do, and nobody would be doing anything. I'd be like, <laughs> no, everyone's going to bed at 7 p.m. Don't don't <laughs> sign me up for anything. But my husband is the one that has control over the things. He's like, we're signing up for all well, the things. Channel a community generator. Yeah. He's like, we're going to be out and about <laughs> my- for Corinna, our youngest, the other projectors, we're both at home. We're like, no, we'll just stay home. And they're just off on their little generator ways. They're like, see you later. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. It works out. But, you know, like I have calm determination. I've learned that through really like honoring that place in me, I don't really like to be around people like a whole lot. It's very, it's, (laughs) very wearing on my system so one quick thing i'll share since it's we're in we're in the holidays so my son my manifester who's seven in second grade he had his holiday party today i didn't really want to go okay i'm gonna (laughs) i did not want to go i did not volunteer i have not volunteered for anything um and partly because a lot of the things interfere with stuff that we're doing and I, i don't have the energy to do both um but he's a cancer. And so he, he loves his mama and he loves his family because that's what cancers are. Can- I've never met. And if you're a cancer that you don't like family, please DM me. I want to hear it. I want to hear it from your mouth. Yeah. Okay. I want yeah. you to tell me that you, you don't want anything to do with family and not because your family sucks. Okay. Like, just like you don't, like you have no, no, uh, desire to be in in any sort of family or community environment. I want to hear it from your mouth. If this is you, if you're a cancer, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I've never, mm-hmm. I've never met a cancer that was not deeply connected to family in some way, or even if they had, you know, poor family dynamics for whatever reason, there was a longing for it. So anyways, because I know this about cancers and because I have a little cancer, he's also a manifester. He doesn't really... He honestly does not ask for a lot. He really doesn't. He he does enjoy his alone time. But he said, are you coming to the party? You know, he he was trying to inform me about all this and also initiate me at the same time. I was like, fuck you for initiating me. I'm not like, fuck you to my child. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I, but you <laughs> not know, literally. not yes. literally. And I never cursed at my child or children. I just want you guys to know because I don't want anyone coming for me <laughs> in my DMs. But anyways, so. Um, he goes, are you coming to my party? And I was like, uh, <laughs> my sickle's like, I don't know about this to be around a bunch of seven and eight year olds for a few hours or whatever, however long this is going to be. And also I have Otis. I don't really have anywhere for him to go. So that means he's coming with me and going to probably destroy. Um, and so he's like, I'd really, he goes to me. I'd really like it if you came. And I'm like, God damn it. 
You're in. You're already signed up. Too late. <laughs> I didn't sign up. No, I hadn't signed up for No, anything. I mean, he already he did it for you. Oh, yeah. He there was the initiation right there. Mm-hmm. And I was like, OK, I guess I was like, OK, I guess I could message your teacher and see if I can still come. And he goes, OK, good. He's like, just try to come. He's like, even if Otis, he's like, just just bring Otis. He's I was like, oh, this kid wants me to go. So so I, I went and uh, I'm a, I was feeling more upbeat before going there because I had a lot more energy, but being around all those kids and then like they were making these gingerbread houses and then some of them were like licking the stick and then sticking it back in the ice. I was like, my <laughs> love- <laughs> <laughs> and Milo's like, um, he wanted to eat his gingerbread house when we got home. Mind you, I'm like, his teacher is so funny. I don't know. I don't even I don't even know what this teacher is just so funny. Like they have these gingerbread houses on these paper plates. OK, but then she's making them stick it in the Ziploc bag where they're all collapsing. Oh, no, because they weren't dry. Well, I mean, there's no I mean, it's not, you know, Ziploc bag is flat. It's going to press on the gingerbread. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. It, and I, I and Milo's like wanted to eat it when he got home, and I said absolutely not. That thing's going. I, I'm very honest with my children, <laughs> and you know what? This is here comes my conditioning. I said that's going straight in the trash. Um, <laughs> that's what I said. To him. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I told you I'm honest to a fault. Fault. I'm not lying to you guys about shit. Okay, I'm not lying to you. <laughs> I'm not lying to my kids. <laughs> I'm too honest. I throw away his his uh, art projects in front of him. Um, I don't care. I'm not keeping all of that stuff in the house. Good thing you don't have an emotional. Oh, yeah. We would have some problems. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for anything that Milo does want to keep, though, he ha- he keeps them in a special place in his drawer. So, like, he... He, I mean, I'm not taking everything from him. He, he, he goes on these urges with these Pokemon drawings, and he'll draw like 30 in like 10 minutes, and I'm like, damn. I was <laughs> like, how, like, how do I get some of that? I'm like, oh yeah, you're not. That's not you, sweetie. Like, just sit back and go. You're like, you know, chugga chugga choo choo generator. <laughs> <laughs> So anyways, that's what's going on. I have, I do have a family member coming into town this weekend. I need everybody to send me your prayers. Um, <laughs> there's, there's some stuff happening that's been going on for a while. This is an emotional and, uh, yeah, they're, they had an emotional moment with me and with my children. We're not going to get into it at all, but, uh, yeah, there's still stuff con- continuing on with that from there that, uh, you know, Setting boundaries with family is hard. I I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you, yeah. Leah. But I, you know, and I just as an open solar plexus, I want to avoid that stuff at all costs. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm going to have to have a talk with this person this weekend. It's already been suggested that this talk was happening. And so my open solar plexus with third defined solar plexus that it also has the full channel to half a channel that I have reaching for the solar plexus. Is going to, I mean, I'm trying, I keep, I like to tell my open centers, don't freak out till you have to freak out if you're going to freak out. Okay. There's nothing to freak out about now because nothing's happened yet. And I have to like talk them down off the ledge. I feel Mm -hmm. like, I don't know how you feel about your open center and our ears are all just undefined, but about your open or undefined centers. Um, But I I feel like I'm caught, like I, they're voices. Yeah. They are the voices within. I know we did an episode on that, um, but I have to talk them off ledges a lot of times. Yeah. Like, just sit down. <laughs> just you say, chill I say, out. take a seat often. I'm like, <laughs> open solar plexus, you take a seat. Undefined yeah. root, stop running around like a chicken with your head cut off. I'm like, <laughs> undefined Ajna, shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> just mm-hmm. shut the fuck up. In my open hat, I'm like, you don't need to know that. Uh, there's so many times. <laughs> <There's> so- <laughs> I feel like that one, 
that one is funny to me because we have to do that a lot. It's like, no, it doesn't, this doesn't matter. Like, yeah, we, that's the, we can stop here. And then it just, <laughs> it's just really funny. Cause I'll Did go, you- cause Google's my best friend, man. Google. <laughs> Every open head oh. is like an undefined yes. head or like nodding right now. Yeah. Google is your best friend and your worst enemy. And, uh, you know, from deconditioning, I can finally say to myself now, I never used to say this. I would go down. I mean, like I'm a first line man. Down, 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 down the rabbit hole. And now I'm just like, girl, you don't need to know that. You don't need to know that. You don't need to know when, uh, like I was, I saw that um, Twitch from the DJ from Ellen. Mm. That was, yeah. Rest in peace. That's yeah. awful. He took his own life. And I'm I'm sorry, I just went down a dark hole. Here I go, down a dark hole. Um, And I saw that. And then I was like, well, why did he die? Why did, and then I had to go and restart and researching. And then I finally said, it's none of your business. You don't need to know anymore. That's fine. Like, you know, like stuff like yeah. just like random stuff or like, oh, I have this like weird thing on my my ear. What is that? Let me start Google. <laughs> my husband will do the same thing because he's open head and he'll have like this random. My favorite conversations that we have are in the car. Oh, and he's yeah. like, and it starts out like this. Do you ever think about... <laughs> And I'm like, never. You're, asking me the, never. you're asking me the wrong question. I never think <laughs> about if a fly gets trapped in the car and you're driving 40 miles an hour down the road and you end at your destination and it goes out the window. Does the fly know that it's in a new location? What? That's a question that I've had before. No. Yes. It's a real question. It's a real true question. Dave, Dave does, you know, because Dave also has a, he's an undefined head. And so whole randomly be like, I need to know what, when, how old this person is. We're watching like a show or something. Yeah. They're like, how old? He's like, how old is this person? And I'm like, why does it matter? And like, or he'll, like, so he'll have this random thought. I'll be like, oh, I have to go Google that. I'm like, you don't have yeah. to Google shit. Like, you don't need yeah. to know that. That is not important. I call, I call Garrett my FBI agent because he'll <laughs> also figure one out. Three. Well, also that's one, one three. three. Yeah. Sagittarius. Yeah, you guys are very similar in that. Yes, yes, we just ask you that one question. You'll tell me who they're married to, where they came from, what their last Facebook profile was, <laughs> um, like literally anything that you could even ask for, and you'll get yeah. me the, what their maiden name well, might be. Yeah, I mean, if you want, if you want <laughs> some answers, you go talk to one three. We'll, you do. we'll we will we will provide. We will provide. And if, you're also, gen- if it's a generator, then you're like ready. You're like, I'll respond to that. Oh, yeah. If you just start asking us questions, well, mm-hmm. I've got answers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> so I anyways, that's I know, you know, we had to make this a little longer for you guys because we haven't been around. So we have, well, we have you're, welcome. Yep. you're welcome. You're <laughs> welcome. I have no idea how long we've been talking for. Um <clears throat> We're at, we have undefined words. We, we we literally not neither one of us look up at the clock when we hit record. We have no idea. No idea. So anyways, we're gonna jump into the week now. Here we go. Okay. Hi there, Crystal here. I've got a few important questions to ask you, so don't fast forward this brief break during this captivating episode because I have a special opportunity for you that I am sure you won't want to miss out on. Are you a business owner, an entrepreneur, or just interested in sharing your knowledge and wisdom with the world but need a little more clarity and direction on how to get there? Well, look no further. Kayla G, spiritual mindset coach, has developed a jam-packed, fully loaded with her fear motivation and Define G, a personalized business guide on the Gene Keys called Gene Keys Business Guide. Now I know for myself how confusing the Gene Keys can be, but the beauty of Kayla's aura is she structures the essence of the contemplative Gene Keys in a way that's tangible and brings it down to the ground floor. This is a guide for someone that's ready to take their entrepreneurial journey to the next level. And with her power view, she's here to elevate your business. So what are you getting? 
a 75 plus page guide in PDF form to learn how to activate your gene keys and your golden path. Also included is access to Kayla's 64 Gene Keys audio library, which will help you learn how to infuse your energetic imprint into your business. I mean, come on now, that sounds amazing, but wait, there's more. If you jump on her wait list now and pick up this guide between the 7th through the 31st, there are a lot of extra perks with her open heart that she's providing for you. You get the pre-sale price of only $333, and if you're on her wait list, you get an exclusive coupon for $555 for another special offer coming soon. You get priority delivery and a one-hour group mastermind Q&A call. That's a lot of perks, baby. So if you're thinking about taking the leap to up-level your business for 2023, head on over to Kayla's website. Link in description down below and jump on Kayla's waitlist or purchase before the 31st and upgrade your business to the next level. So we kind of got a big week. Okay, of course. We're at the end of the, we're at end of the year, end of the month. Here we go. We're getting another new moon, right? So we're going to have new moon Capricorn which is something that I've been saying is going to be the last almost like little opening before things start to get a little wonky. Okay. Um, and that, and let's, so before we dive into the new moon, let's talk about the focus of this week. And the focus is on our mind and the lens that we're looking out at through the world right now. This is the energy of conceptualizing possibility, which is a really beautiful gate to hold at the end of the year. Where do you see yourself going? This energy wants to ask you, which was also in for last week. So we didn't talk about that last week because we weren't here, but it was also in at the end of last week. And so um, we're also being grounded in our expression. So know when is the right time to share these visions with others or even ourselves? There might have been or you might be feeling a bit of resistance around sharing. Or seeing like, oh, that's not quite the person that I can share this information with. Um, I, I noticed a lot of people kind of were taking a little bit of a break, um, talking about certain things that were going on in the transits. I found that to be interesting this last week. Um, but just as I'm sharing with you this old program at the beginning of the week, we're going to go immediately <laughs> into a new program. So late Monday, early Tuesday, which Tuesday's my birthday. If you didn't know, I just want to let everybody know. December 20th is Crystal's birthday, which is me. If you didn't know who I am, I just wanted to let you know that. So we're having some shifts. This is such a, I'm like, this is such a good day. And I hope that it ends up being a good day. It looks like it's going to be a good day. So we get into a new program that's all connected to the vessel of love, obviously, because I'm a vessel of love. So we're in that incarnation cross right now. So... We are experiencing this all through a focus on us, the love we have for ourselves. How much do you love your life right now? Should be a question to ask yourself for, um, for this week. And this is also my conscious son. So this is what I'm growing into. This life is love of self and the love of life and everything loving who you are to the fullest. This is about being correct as an individual that sh that you are, not about being correct. It's about being correct in yourself. Can you be correct within yourself? And I, I think that's going to be a big question for a lot of people this week is can you be your individual self? And so we're, we're being grounded in our extremes, our extreme nature, um, and also what it means to be human and the extreme nature of being human. What a beautiful time to have this energy come in during the holidays. You know, it's all synchronistic. So I just want um, to wish everybody a happy holiday, right? Or happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, happy Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate or don't celebrate. Um, that is kind of the energy of this time of year. So pure love. So what a beautiful time. Um, I like to imagine sometimes what it would look like if everyone in the world had this energy running through them consistently at all times. 
um, there's always a little bit of hope um, for humanity, uh, which is kind of the energy for this week is um, that there there's a better way. There's a better way of being. There's a better way of seeing. And it's a, a good time to really embrace who you are. So also on my birthday, which is Tuesday, by the way, Jupiter re-enters Aries. And I talk about this in the program plus, and this is going to be a uh, prime time to expand our drive and ambition, I will say, but we do have the shadow phase of Mercury happening right now and also Mars retrograde. So, you know, there's always some good mixed with some shit. That's life, right? So it's about taking action, but it's going to ask you to kind of slow down and almost to watch. This is a time to watch. Um, that's what's happening at the end of the month. A time to watch, a time to learn, a time to get curious, but maybe not the best time to take action unless it really feels expansive, which is a nice word to use for Jupiter, expansive. So maybe there, or maybe this is a time to start creating, creating those action steps. Maybe this is a time to be writing down where you want to see yourself going this next year, but wait until, you know, some of the murky waters clear up. I mean, we, we also still have a emotional wave happening, you know, like we're, we're in kind of the thick of it. So also on Tuesday, we we do have a little bit of a brief pulse of prosperity and drive, um, allowing abundance to come in maybe in unexpected ways. So Tuesday has got a lot of good energy happening. Um, and then Wednesday, we get another brief sacral and G-Center burst on following our own convictions. And we are traveling through, like I said, the vessel of love energy this week, because then on Thursday, which is right before the new moon, um, is when Capricorn season begins on Thursday. So we get a burst of energy on where we're going and also our routines on Thursday. It might be a good day to plan ahead and look towards how are you going to start your new year. And what's also fascinating is right before the new moon, we gain access to our inspiration. This one's really, I'm curious to see what happens for a lot of people with this because we we have inspiration happening in Mercury, um, all about communication and our direction that we're going through right now. And it's also active in the new moon. And so it'll be getting turned on right before the new moon happens, which is really asking us to look towards our future goals and really hold the vision for that new moon. So for a lot of, as we were just talking about open heads you might be getting a rush of inspiration that comes through or for any dev defined head and ajnas, maybe this is a time you'll reach a, a sense of clarity. Cause I know for you guys, it's, it doesn't, it's not consistent drop-ins, right? Where there's just like rushes of energy coming in. It drops in when it wants to drop in and who knows with the new moon energy, maybe this is a time it's going to drop in for everybody. So let's discuss what will be happening during the new moon. So this is happening in the cardinal sign of Capricorn, which if you look at Capricorn, it's a very grounded sign connected to the material world and our work that, we, that we're that we here to do. All earth signs are in a way connected to work, but this particular little earth sign has a lot of ambitions, okay? If you look at the symbol of Capricorn, it is the mountain goat trying to climb the tallest mountain. And then it will, get, it will get there in a way. It's always looking for more mountains to climb. And this particular mountain is connected to love. And it's the love and the work that you're here to do. What fills you up in life? This new moon is asking you to plant the seeds for exploring the unknown of self and where you truly want to see yourself going this next year. That's what this new moon is going to help you plant the seeds for is where do you see yourself in your career, with your ambitions, with your goals, in relation to self, okay? In, re in relation to how much do I want to love who I am and where I'm going? 
is really what this new moon's focus is about. So it's going to be really important for you to allow yourself the space to plant these seeds for this coming year. This is really planting the seeds for this new moon for the coming year on where you want to see your life going. All right. So the next program happens on Christmas for many, for some, it might be right after, depending on where you are in the world, um, in time zones and stuff. So for many, it's going to be a new focus on our vitality and what it could be to live a better life and being grounded and waiting for the right moment, or maybe even response to know when we can actually move keeping still and maybe even resting before acting, which is going to be really key for the transition into 2023. You know, we, we, uh, 2023 starts, and I was like, ah, I got to make all these plans and these goals and blah, blah, blah. No, like last year was the same thing. Like do not run into 2023. You will probably fall into a pile of like mud or fire. I don't know. Um, it, it we're, 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 we're rolling into into 2023 like on our backs like slowly like trying to go up the hill instead of down <laughs> just to make that visual for 2023 i'm not i'm sorry i'm being realistic here this is what's happening i can't oh yeah you guys are going to be great you guys are just going to do it you're going to get all the things done and everything's going to be good no that's not what's happening at the beginning of 2023, okay? It's going to be a slow, sludgy movement into 2023. No one wants to go, okay? But we are going into 2023. So we'll speak more about that in next month's program plus and the yearly forecast. So definitely join our Facebook group because it's going to be, it's actually, we're going to make it funny, Okay. We're going to entertain you for this one. It's going to be a really good time. So as we are in the shadow of Mercury retrograde and still in Mars retrograde, there's a huge invitation with all of this energy to just slow the fuck down and just let everything come to you. Like if you do have a goal and an ambition in mind, which is going to be really heavy with Capricorn energy, like I, I'm sure you guys all, we all feel that momentum and that drive to like take over the world, right? It's kind of like the Capricorn energy. And I think also like Aries energy too, right? It's like, I'm going to take over the fucking world. It's like, bitch, sit down. Okay. I know you have lofty goals. I'm a rising Capricorn, by the way. And I'm also obviously on the cusp of Capricorn. Kabbalistically, I'm actually a Capricorn. So I do have a lot of Capricorn um, in my in some high places in my chart. So I re- deeply relate to this energy. I'm I'm very ambitious. Um, I want to fucking win. Capricorn's like, bitch, I'm going to fucking bulldoze you down and run up that mountain faster than you. Um, but it's, it's going to be a very slow pace up that mountain. You're going to stop for the scenic view. You're going to look over your shoulder, take out your binoculars. Okay. Like we're not, we're in no rush. Okay. So plant those seeds of where you want to see yourself going, but not where you're trying to win the race. All right. So that's what's happening for this week. And as we slowly approach 2023. Uh, Okay. Well, as per usual, the cards repeat exactly what you just said. So I pulled the nine of cups. And this is a, a person sitting pretty smugly. If you on the YouTube, you'll see the card. Um, he's pretty sitting pretty smugly with his arms crossed. He's got a smug face um, on a wooden bench and he's got a bunch of cups. All the cups are up behind him, sort of like trophies, signifying successes, accomplishments, achievements, um, abundance, whatever you want to call that. So think of yourself in this moment and and maybe toward this this week and i feel like with the new moon especially this is really accurate is allowing yourself to see your accomplishments what you've done and allow yourself to rest right now don't try and force anything to come um and the wooden bench actually symbolizes temporary waiting and because when you think you're sitting on a wooden bench it's not super comfy you don't want to stay there forever Um, So you're not going to be sitting here in your smugness and saying, look at all the things I've accomplished and not allowing yourself to 
look toward the future to see what's coming to allow things to come to you or, um, you know, see what maybe is next. Uh, I think there's a lot of potential there as well. And especially toward the end of, you know, getting into this shadow period with Mercury retrograde and, and Mars in retrograde, still allowing yourself that rest period. And you'll know when it feels right for you to take that next step and whatever it is that looks like for yourself and your goals or whatever it is that you want to accomplish. And don't try and accomplish everything in the first week of January. Like yeah. I, I know exactly. I've been in a lot of the... I don't know why I always hesitate to say this. I was in network marketing. And so yeah. I was the one trying to push and encourage people to sign up to do things the first week of January. Like, let's get this done. Let's do this. We're all into like fitness and goals and all of this. And it's it's really puts a lot of pressure on people. And it, it isn't that encouraging in the long run if you're not allowing yourself the grace that you need to give yourself. And if there's things coming up, and now it's why I believe way more in the transits is because when you follow those, you're allowing your body and you're allowing yourself to kind of work through that. And if you're trying to push against things that aren't actually allowing, you know, that are, it's like outside oh, forces behind the are yeah. out of our control it's like when yeah. you it's like aligning to form and like when you can align to form it kind of just it's kind of I almost look at it as almost like when you can really align your physical body your form to the geometry of the transits right um it's almost like a boat just traveling down a stream of water mm -hmm. they don't need the paddles anymore they're they're just in alignment with the flow of the natural rhythm of the waters. Yeah. And that's kind of what happens when you understand, and that's what we really want to do. That's what we want to nail home in this private Facebook group is helping you. And that's what the program plus is helping you align to your geometry with your design, not trying to do somebody else's way. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. not trying to figure out, oh, that person, you know, they, they, I, I, I have that dream too. I'm just going to go and try to do it the way that they did it. You know, like you came here built with a certain system that is here to move in its own cadence, its own rhythm. And when you can fall into that flow state and then watch how the stars and the planets are moving in certain ways that are here to support us that are saying, hey, we got Aries coming into Jupiter. This is a good time to be looking at what are your ambitions? ambitions? Where do you want to go this next year? But if you notice, also, we have two hardcore planets, Mars and Mercury, that move pretty quickly that are now in this sludgy backwards motion, right? Or at least the illusion of, which is saying to you, maybe not the best time to move, but maybe a, a good time to look at where you want to go. Mm -hmm. So that when things do open up, so you're in the planning stage, that's what I feel like this Aries is going to be helping us do with Jupiter is like plan out and also know that planning, you know, what are they, what is that saying about when you make a plan, somebody laughs at you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that one. I forgot. I forgot. Never mind. We're not going to go there. I'm just, gonna, <laughs> I've already butchered it. Um, but like, don't like maybe make, you know, goals, set some goals that don't have necessarily a time frame right now. The time hasn't opened up yet. You don't know when the time's going to be. Yeah. So that's why if you can just align to your, your design, follow, follow your authority, understand those intricate details, understand the way your variables move, understand the configuration understand your openness, understand your definition, and then understand how the planets are really here moving us on our geometry. They're they're like the stream. I look at the trans as, as almost the stream in um that's carrying the boat, which is our vehicle, through this world, through 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 the life that we're 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 living. And so when you, you, I mean, you can't, can you, can you control water? Can you, mm -mm. could you, could you go to a stream and say, stop moving? <laughs> <laughs> I need you to stop right here. Okay. 
Like, unless you, I guess, put a bunch of rocks or build a dam, you're not moving that, you're not stopping that stream. And that's kind of how the planets move. You're not going to, you you're, you you think you're going to escape the transits? <laughs> you're not going to escape them. No. So it's about surrendering to form, allowing the body to know that it's here to really protect you. And the mind knows nothing. So I'm going to stop. I'm sorry. 24 went on a rant and not <laughs> <laughs> well, it, that's very accurate for the next card, which also <laughs> was accurate anyway. Um, and this is from a different deck. Also show my YouTube friends, the oops, the soul's journey um, by James Van Pra. And I haven't used these ones in a while. Oops, sorry. And this one's called judgment. So it says, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. We are all spirit. We are all the same. It's only the roles that we have chosen to play here on this earth that make us seem different. The biggest lesson that you have given, that you have chosen to learn is to love. There are so many situations in this physical dimension that it is possible to incarnate into, but the core lesson is to look past these illusions and see yourself in everyone. Each soul has given has I keep saying given each soul has chosen its own struggles and your task is not to judge how someone goes about their overcoming of these obstacles but to assist them spirit has given you the tools of a com of compassion and empathy to help you see through the eyes of those who appear different your ego has taught you that making other people feel insignificant or inferior will allow you to feel better about yourself but that is an illusion by diminishing others you diminish yourself Always learn the, always follow the rule. I will treat others as I would like to be treated. Everyone in your life is here to teach you something about yourself and accept the lesson with love and understanding. Yep. Everybody needs that right now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there, there's definitely a lot of judgment going around, especially since Mars has gotten retrograde. Mm -hmm. Um, it's been, I, especially for people that don't understand what's happening. And that's why I, I, I feel the motivation to come on here week after week to get, at least share as much insight as I possibly can to reach people that I know it's, you know, a lot of this is hard to fully digest, but I mm -hmm. feel like we, we try to make it as uh practical as possible that's like one of the big things that i want to do with all this information is make this digestible and practical because it's hard to like when you're looking oh god mercury doing this over here it's in this time but it's also in this gate and what what the fuck does that mean you know, <laughs> like it's <laughs> yeah. i remember the first time leah's like she let her 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 defined head and entrance okay. like literally said to me, i'm not gonna get this i said mm -hmm. that's not true that's not true the wheels all stopped turning and I was like frozen and you're like, well, let's, let's find a new way to learn about this then. So, well, I just said you break oh, yeah. it down. Like, mm -hmm. I think it's because it's hard to fit. Well, where, what's the first step, right? Where do you start? And I think that's the thing with being a generator and why I think a lot of people come to generators in, in, you know, situations like this, um, because we know where to start. And then the next necessary step, because we are, we are, we literally are here for mastery through like, we don't, we don't skip steps. We go one foot in front of the other. And it's like, okay, I see every, I always see, I've always seen every next step. Where's the next step? Where's the next step? Especially with being desire and like power view. I just see where almost all the like pieces fit. And I'm here to show people how to be successful in this material world power view and desire are both third lines they're third colors so you can be successful this it, life is hard enough but mm -hmm. if we actually understood what almost like the background energy was what the background frequency is what is the cycle that we're in and what's it here to teach us it it it, can, it gets easier it can get easier so we hope that you enjoyed this program. Uh, we're glad to be back. And mm -hmm. I guess we'll see you over there on the next one. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bye. Happy holidays. Bye. Thank you.
Thank you so much for listening to this episode. Crystal and I are really here as defined hearts to provide value to you with our unique insights. If you have found any of this episode valuable to you, we ask that you share with a friend, tag us with a highlight on Instagram, and write us a review so we can reach more people. Human design and astrology are tools to guide us toward our transformation. You are a unique and beautiful being, and we encourage you to let that light inside of you shine bright. See you in the next episode, friends.